Hi everyone, it's Paula from PSE and Creations. Welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, welcome if you're new here. Uh, this is day number seven of 12 days of Christmas journaling cards. Uh, day number seven, we have seven swans a swimming. And yeah, um, I will have days one through six linked in the description box. Um, there's not much to say. These videos go very quick. I just thought it was a fun idea to do them. Um, curious if you guys are doing them with me, because that would be pretty cool. I've officially lost my hole punch, or not my hole punch, my corner punch. Oh, here it is. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. So um, I have things here. We have our base. Oh, this one has a little 15p. I wonder if that's 15 pounds. Yeah, I think it is, because this is from London. England, 100 years of motoring was the postcard that I copied over. So I'm just going to leave that there because I think it's cool. Or not that I copied over. I apologize. I, I um, just put sheet music over. So let's get started. Seven swans swimming. Rounding my corners. It's funny because as I look at them, I guess I did try to um, to keep the same color scheme going. Like I had like I had this scrap paste paper and it's like it's blue or gray in the background and just had trees and I cut it out and I'm like, oh, maybe I can do something with the swans. But I keep gravitating back to the colors that I've already started using. And I guess that's OK, right? I mean. If I already started using them and I kind of want to stick to that color combination, there's nothing wrong with that. So here's what I'm thinking for this one. Maybe I'll just put the glue on here since it's a little thicker. This is just a cut up um, tablecloth, not tablecloth, doily, but it's not a... Uh, it's not a vintage doily or anything. I'm pretty sure this one I got from the Dollar Tree. They had like some red ones one year. Might have been now for Christmas, but I didn't get it this year for sure. Or it may have been, may have been for Valentine's Day perhaps if they had it. I don't, I can't remember. Okay. Oh, okay. And I'll cut off any excess afterwards that's not okay. and then i'm gonna just go ahead and ink our main element or focal point which is the seven swans of swimming although there's only one swan with the number seven so i guess that's okay right this is a coffee dyed piece of tablecloth i'm gonna put that right here Bit of an angle. Oh, maybe I'll use one of these poinsettias. That does make it a little bulky. Er, not horrible though. It's not as bad as you think it would, but it does add a little bit of height. Let's do it. Got my glue gun here. I already had it heating up, so it's hot. And then what's a journaling card that I made without a button? I like putting buttons on things. Anybody else? I just think a button just does something. I don't know what, but it does something for me. Now, I could leave that like that, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with leaving it with hangover. I'm going to leave that one like that. I am going to cut that up, though. That's not hangover. That's just... This type of hangover to me looks like you did it on accident or on purpose. No, I don't know. Which one I, but one of them to me looks good and the other one looks 
like you missed something, like the project's not done. All right, let's ink. And I'm using the same one, vintage photograph, photo. I don't know why photograph. It says photo. Oh, I got to check my green beans. <laughs> I'm steaming green beans, guys, for dinner. All right, day seven in the books, seven swans of swimming. And that is it. I will see you guys on day eight. And yeah, we'll see you on day eight, everyone. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.